One of the interesting things is in Japan right now, there are biometric glasses and biometric hats um, that help people uh, shut down or confuse facial recognition systems. In other words, there's a pair of glasses right now that you can get in Japan that puts out a electronic field that makes it difficult for um, cameras to read this part of your face at all so that it, it, it fights that tendency. So one of the things we talk about in general in the book is um, clothing and how it relates to this, not just in fighting biometrics, but we talk a little bit about clothing that is internet enabled so it becomes part of the internet of things. I mean, there a bike helmet, for example, that can call for call 911 if you have a terrible crash or a uh, ski jacket, snowboarding jacket that plugs into your phone with a microphone and then a hood with earphones so that it becomes your phone. You know, there's a lot of fashion that's included in this book. There is a lot of fashion and some of it, like you said, is to help with either safety or to make things easier, right? So you want to be snowboarding, you want right. to listen to your favorite tunes. It's built into the clothing. You want to, uh, you've got a New Year's resolution to be more fit. It, you can build it into your clothing. You don't have to wear a bulky pedometer anymore. So there's some really great things that it can do. There's also a cottage industry around pulling back some of your privacy. So if you are a, a notable person, maybe you're a movie star, very wealthy, or you're just very well known in your community and you tend to get your photograph taken a lot, they actually have anti-paparazzi fashion wear. Um, some of it's makeup. I'm, I'm not sure I recommend after taking a look at that. But there's actually <laughs> some, some handbags and some portfolios that the men can carry that when they're in your hand, if the paparazzi takes flash photography, it actually does a burst and they can't get a picture of your face. 